Folks, I'm live, I'm alive. And uh, we're going to talk about, for all my parasocials, we're going to talk about what's been going on. Lawman, July 4th celebration? No, we're not doing Lawman for July 4th. How much would it take for you to boost the president candidate over a couple months before the election? Do you have a price? What? We'll see you on Emmer stream yesterday. Yep. Um, we were getting a couple bre- uh, brewskis, a couple beers, um, and eating a little bit of food before we uh, leave Honeyman Expo. Um, did the girl with the yellow hair get a photo with you? She looks so sad when you said no. I have no idea. Dude, come on. I took like 7,000 photos yesterday. I don't know. Uh, I apologize if I wasn't able to get to you at the Anime Expo. I feel like I've tried to do everything I could uh, physically to take as many photos as possible while also making some content. So, you know, it's always a delicate balance that we're striking there. I never want to, I never want to make anybody feel bad and then knock back any rib corn in honor of the fourth, possibly. Uh, who knows? No photos, fuck that. I mean, you know me, I'm a big fuck you, no photos for you, get fucked type guy. Anyway, um, but yeah, we did, uh, I like the Kakegurui figure. There's a Kakegurui figure I missed. I should have bought one. Fuck. I really should have bought a sexy figurine. I don't know why I didn't buy one. Um, no, fuck off. Put it away. Leave quick. We got to run. Have a bad one. That was me the whole time. We were getting mobbed at some points. It was going to be a feeding frenzy. If you take pictures of literally everyone. Yeah. You should have scheduled a meetup location so everyone could get those photos. Why would I do that? <laughs> I'm not like being paid to go to the anime expo. You know that, right? Like the meetup, the, the meetup location would be a genuine fire hazard. <laughs> if I were to do that. I'm like, it's not TwitchCon. I'm not like an anime person. Seeing those figures yesterday made me want to buy my first figure. Law. Very confused MB with another 25. Thank you. Yeah, I know. We're going to talk about the... Did you yoink the Trigon statue? I did not. I wanted to real bad. I just hope... I just hope that Ludwig will finally watch Trigon. Hassan's in his otter era. I am in my otter era. Uh, the new Fear Ant came out. I don't know if you guys... I don't know if you guys watched it. I think it's out, right? Uh, the the Fear and in Japan recap episode. I think it was pretty good. It was very funny. Um, just you guys bullying Austin. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's good. That's that's. What do you mean? I'm sorry. Do you have an issue with that? Because that's pretty fire. Sounds pretty fire to me. Um. But anyway, uh, two days in a row, I went to Anime Expo. I had a wonderful time both days. I mean, it was incredible. You know what was really funny? Aussies. They thought, I mean, they had an incredible time. They were literally telling me, that they were like, this is one of my favorite like IRL streams I've ever done. Basically... Uh, they were saying, uh, they were, they were saying that this is some of the most fun they've had. So yesterday I wasn't planning on streaming at all. Uh, and then, you know, we, we play a little bit of basketball in the morning, um, you know, get a little bit of cardio in, got our asses handed to us by the way, but we play a little bit of basketball, um, got our asses handed to us, uh, in basketball which was whatever, you know, got some good cardio out of it. And we're sitting at home and we're thinking like, what could we shoot? What could we shoot? Because I want to do some stuff for the Aussies, right? I want to do some stuff uh, for the Aussies. I want to do something for the, I did a thing channel. I want to do something for the boy boy channel, obviously. You know what I mean? Uh, I want to appear in some, you know, guest spots on their content. Um, Your chemistry with the Aussies is so fun. 
Love to see him on stream. Yeah, we have a very similar uh, style of humor. It's it's great. Bomb laughs. I got you. I'm gonna use your blast off today. Um, but overall, the anime expo was great. I went and bought a bunch of incredibly overpriced figurines, and um, you know, had a great time doing that. That was a wonderful experience overall. Um, saw a fuck ton of fans. I think. This time around, I think this time around, it wasn't, it wasn't as like terrifyingly mobby as last time. Because like last Anime Expo, last year when we went to Anime Expo, we got mobbed like a lot more. But this time I think we had more fans. Like this time I think I took more photos with fans, but it was like way more like boom, boom, boom. I was ready for it. You know what I mean? So I, I didn't allow us to ever get mobbed. The stream barely had an F yesterday just when they accidentally hit a button. Yeah. Um, 1K Trigun, I truly how Nicholas is all right. This year was much more packed. Maybe it was good, yeah. I think that's, that's uh, maybe it was because it was more packed. Gremlo, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Did you attend the Hollow Live concert? I did not. Um, yeah, last night I actually hung out with Tadek. Uh, Tadek hit me up. He's in town for a little bit. He's doing some Sentinel stuff. And immediately I was like, oh, I got you a burrito. Yeah, I got you a bacon burrito with Avo. It's not here yet. It'll be here in like 10 minutes. Yeah, no problem. How was your... You want to you wanna say hi to the stream? You want to you wanna, you wanna tell your... Well, you got to pull up a separate no, chair, potentially. I can, I can you don't have to just pull up another chair from over there. Um, Alex is not with us right now. He's he's uh, off shooting content. He's fake. He left. He left the building. He's just like, Hassan, you don't have enough clout for me. I need to go. You heard him saying that? Yeah. Oh, that was a private Fuck. conversation. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, between you guys. I did. I heard that. And guess what? It hurt. And and recounting it also hurts, but it's fine. We got fucking tan. We yeah. got burnt. These guys thought like, oh, in they thought that like in LA you don't get uh you won't get like tan in LA. It's you, not wait, what? We worked really hard in Australia. The fuck? It's just effing. F? Yeah, big time. I don't know what's what happening. Yeah, it was just like a like a minor dip. I don't know what happened. It just dropped frames, but we're back. Ah, nice. Yeah, it's back. Um, yeah, I don't know. We worked really hard in Australia to put a nice, like, big hole in our ozone layer so we can get tanned more efficiently, spend less time in the sun to get the same results. We just assume that here you just can't get burnt. No, it's not. It's not how that works. We, you missed the Yakuza panel yesterday where Kiryu serenaded the audience. Oh, shit, really? I think Twitch might be breaking a little bit, or it might be on my end. I don't know. It's probably on my end. It's always on my end. It's, it's is it since I sat down? Should I? Yeah, leave? you sat should down I, and it fucking busted. No, it's fine. Um, so banned guns, but not the sun. What the fuck? I agree. It's bullshit. But um, we balled up. We got a little tan. We went to the Anime Expo. What What were your thoughts? Give us your Give us your um, recap on Anime Expo. I thought it was really cool. I went in with a completely different um, expectation. Hassan was like building it up, like, "Oh, you know, it's going to be so weird, and you're going to see all these these like unwashed, stinky weebs." Um, I did not say it like you that. Said, I didn't say it was that you, aggressive. Okay. Uh, well, you. I literally, sweat. I literally you told you. Body odor. I did say body odor will be a thing. That was just. I was the only stinky one there. Yeah, <laughs> which is why we like sweat and then didn't shower before we went to the con to uh, to blend in. But um, yeah, it was really cool. I um, I feel like a bit of an idiot because I don't. I didn't watch any anime, so I, I was just looking at pretty pictures. I had no idea what the context was. But you got some titties them. though. Yeah. Yeah. I gave him the body pillow that I got. That was amazing. I gave him. I mean, he's done. He's done with women. He's done with flesh women. 3D I women. Mean, I was done with flesh women like I was 17. But you know, yeah, like now at least I've got an alternative. Yeah, you're you're gonna live that hikikomori lifestyle. I think. Um, uh, I'm just yeah. I'm just sad because chat wouldn't let us go into the um, hentai area. Get banned. Yeah. Um, well, you know that was technically was, my I, fault. I, but. I want, 
You, I don't think you want to know what that's like. I don't think you want to see that shit. It's not just sexy ladies. No, it's so much more. I mean, we still got the we still got the the bands. We can still go back. How many how, how many days are they running? I think it's like literally Fourth of July and shit too. It's the Anime Expo, from what I understand, as far as what Garnt told me, is the largest uh, expo, like the largest anime convention. It's bigger than Comic Con. It's wow. um, yeah, it's it's insane. I mean, there were like there were people visiting Los Angeles for Anime Expo from around the world, which I think is like crazy. Like, around the United States, I get, but, like, around the world, that's wild. So, um, overall, if you're not super into anime or manga, I think it was, it's weird, right? You're not... Yeah, I mean, it's a bit strange, but it was kind of cool. It's just, like, there was... I really appreciated um, the amount of effort people went into just to go there. Like, everyone was dressed up. I don't think I've ever been to a, an event like that. Yeah. Where, like... Everyone seems to have spent like a month straight just making their clothes. No, it's not even a month. It's it's actually just permanent. Oh, that's just that's just what they look like. Yeah, yeah. no, like it's you don't I think when you get into cosplay, you don't just like get into cosplay and then you have like a cosplay outfit that you bust out all the time. When you get in the cosplay, you're like constantly working on it throughout right. the year and then you always are like tweaking it and making it better and then you you start becoming like a cosplay person and then you start diving into other kinds of cosplay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, have you, how far have you gotten? I've not gotten far at all. I mean, you guys saw like the extent of your cosplay. You saw the extent. You were wearing the extent of my cosplay. I, it's too much time, too much effort for me to like get into. Um, and I also do want to have sex eventually. You know what I mean? So, nice. like, that's part of why I, I think I don't want to get into cosplay. But surely they have sex with each other. They probably, you know what, honestly, they're probably, like, band geeks. You know what I mean? Yeah, Where they, they like just, like, really fuck even stuff. more yeah, yeah, yeah. than you would expect. Oh, by the way, here's Kaya. Um, can we see the figure hall? I'll show you guys everything. She's I'm going to so unbox, I'm going to open up all my figures. I have not. Um, I have not opened up any of my figures yet, even the ones I got from Japan, and I think I'm going to open them today. The value? Will the value go down? I don't really give a shit. What am I going to do? Sell it? Um, but yeah, I bought so much. I bought thousands of dollars worth of figurines. You also gave away a sword. I you did. Down one. I mean, that was fine. Security guard was like getting emotional. about it. That was actually like... Yeah. Really like... That was sword. wild. Yesterday when we were walking in, I think it was on stream too, like... The security guard was like, oh, you can't come in through here. You have to go through a weapons check. And we were just like, nah, we'll just give it to you. It's fine. And he like, he was shocked. Like he thought we were going to be assholes to him. Yeah, and be yeah. like, fuck you. Like we're exhibitors, like fucking privileged Andes. Like, you know, I, I think his expectation was that we were going to be, he was like, he couldn't fuse. He's like, what? It's like, no, you could take it. He's like, I'm sure. He's like, I can't have that. Uh, and, and I was like, no man, like, I, I'm sure your kid oh, yeah. likes it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, here it is. Um, I'm sure your kid would like, I was like, there's someone in your family that might like it. He's like, yeah, my kid. Aww. Yeah. Get the fuck in here. You want it? You want a gift? Do you I like anime? Yeah. Well, no, no, you can keep it. Here you go. Oh, my filming so you shit. You know what? I just realized, like, my tone of voice could have been misconstrued as like, oh, hey, you want it? Here you go. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm you thinking go, I'm being nice. <laughs> I thought I was being like kind turns out yeah you're filming i think we've just been walking for like bro how is your trying to get how was your filming so bad I'm sorry. you literally film for your fucking vlogs or for your for your content that you make we saw the we saw the 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 brief little <laughs> blip like over and over times. again 20 times of you just going how's it going oh how's it going God. Where the no, blood blank sabotage your videos to like get everyone onto boy boy that's, yeah that's that's an act this is active what i'm trying to do i'm trying yeah to, no, don't leave the fucking belt, bro. No, no, no. I was like, don't give the belt back. <laughs> I'm not charitable, but come on. It's six. Trafalgar Law is one piece. Does he, does he fuck with one piece? Oh, no, 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 it's fine. No problem. It's, fine. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a cheap nice. sword. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? I said, I just rewatched this. I re just rewatched my interaction with this human being. And God damn, I'm such a fucking asshole, dude. Oh, that's cool. This you is like supposed to be a super kind moment. And I just come across like such a dick, dude. Yeah. What the fuck? No, you were just like, no, take it. 
I you, thought I, my voice was like light. You were doing like a little two-handed kind of like um, a yeah. real modest uh, handover. Yeah, yeah. Physically, I I think like when I see look at look at the way I'm, but look at my face. <laughs> like my hands say, "Here you go, sir." Onagashimas. <laughs> My face says, I want to fucking slice you with the sword. To be fair, we just spent like half an hour trying to find the entrance. Like, I think it was like, you know, you, you, you're you exhausted. It's a tiring time. God damn it, dude. I got to like figure out how to make myself. No, he, he understood when I when I said, no, 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 take it. Like, I, I did the tap. It's one piece. It's one piece. When I did that, he got it. When he, I was, when I was reassuring. This is how streaming is terrifying. You're just gonna like slowly go over every social interaction. Yeah. Well, it's good. I can like, I can fix it now. You know what I mean? (laughs) That's what I think when I'm like awake at two a.m. What what did I do? What did I do that day? How did I? It's the mena aggressive benevolence. That's why we fight over paying the check at the restaurant. Yeah. What is mena? Mena. Middle East, North Africa. <laughs> he doesn't even know. Um, bro, analyzing human interaction like an AI. I mean, it's important. It's it, it's important for me to like try to figure out how to not come across like I'm like a like a like an angry person all the time. Oh, you know oh, what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a cheap sword. Thank you. Right. It's a cheap sword. Alex just shot you in the foot. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, it's fine. Um, I mean, that isn't like a common thing to have. So he was probably a little shocked and confused. Yeah. That's kind of how you act too. When someone asks for a picture, lol. Oh, fuck, dude. All the, all the fans probably think I hate them now. God damn it. Rough. Okay. I, I, I got, I got no way to make you feel better about that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you're always expecting to be accosted by haters. No, not in public. I don't give a shit. I don't think about the haters at all in public, brother. Let me tell you, that's the only time, the only time I fucking uh, remember that there are like psychos online is when I'm online, when I'm on Twitter or when I'm on Twitch and we're getting raided or something, or like if I go on Reddit, like when I'm in the real world, I don't give a fuck. No, that's just like pure unadulterated me. I'm just fucking bad at... Also, in the real world, a dude came up to you and asked for a photo and he had just, like, the don't tread on me <laughs> tattoo. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't think haters even really exist. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was a vet. He's like, yeah, uh, I'm a veteran. <laughs> That's why. Uh, he's like, I'm a history buff. I'm a veteran. And also, but, like, even that guy, when he came up to me, I was, like, nice to him. You know what I mean? You didn't, you didn't say thank you for your service, though. Um, or maybe you I did. did. You didn't. Oh, I didn't. Which was fucked yeah. up. I was expecting you to do it. Like, I'm a... I'm more of like a like a hater, right? right. Of the armed I, services. I you, on the other hand, you love. Like, yeah, show them what you got. Oh. Proud American baby. You I got love dogs America. on there and everything. I got dogs. I got a flag. I got. <laughs> Chad's like, it's okay. Being autistic is not a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not great here. I'll tell you that. Also, I'm not autistic. <laughs> I don't think. I think Twitch may may have given me autism. I think maybe maybe you can't get it from the vaccines, but maybe you can get it from Twitch. Like in Beauty of the Bees when the clock and the candlestick are trying to teach the beast how to kindly ask Bell to come to dinner. <laughs> yeah, except Maurice. the beast and the candle and the clock uh, and even the beauty have autism in this story. <laughs> so everyone is just as neurodivergent and not uh, and, and completely oblivious to social cues. Um, but uh, you got talltism. You don't know how to act as smaller people. Yeah, that's true. What are you what are we meant to do? Yeah, we, like, when I see small people, it's like, like they're like half a person. It's hard to be. You can't lean down. You yeah, can't, you can't make it obvious. Yeah, you're just, so you just like you're like, hey, can't hear you down there. So you just like make up a conversation in your mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> I um I didn't realize how horrible it is not being tall until someone's like taller than me, and I get so scared. Wait, like really? If there's someone taller than me. I'm Why? Like, what do you think they're going to do? No, nothing. It's just an uncomfortable thing. I love it. Like, I love it when I see taller people. Oh, it it's so awesome. It makes me so happy. I'm like, wow, I, I'm normal size, I think. Well, it just makes me realize the terrifying world that everyone else lives in. <laughs> like, imagine if it was that guy, but everyone was him. When, like, I, when I see a big person, I'm like one of us. 
All That's right, how right. I feel. I, I legitimately immediately when I see a big person, I size them up, and they're, I'm like, oh, sick! Like you're you're a big boy. I love that because uh, immediately it's like united in one struggle. You know what I, I mean? It's hard being told. Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah. of course, it's like super easy, much better. But I'm just saying that like there are complications that come along with that. Bad knees. Oh yeah, you know we what die, I mean. We die. Quickly, right? We die uh, faster. It's like hard to fit into places. Oh, hard to your find. Spurt, you're kind of like. All your friends are lower, so you kind of like your neck tilts down. That that's, that's a problem. I like to should meet Zoldan. Oh yeah, look at this this guy. Like I hope it's not annoying for you guys to watch. Oh shit! <laughs> Holy dude. fuck, dude! Look at this giant, bro. Yo, Mark, Whoa. can you hate this for a second? Oh my gosh! I thought Hassan was tall. Dude. Oh my God. Dude. <laughs> Where is this? Uh, is this in Europe? Uh, yeah, it's in Amsterdam. Yeah. Back on old Marchie's back. This, back, look at back this with Uncle Marchie. That would suck, though. I think there is like a limit. Look at, I look like, is this how I make everyone else look? Yeah, look. <laughs> You're pretty tall, bloke. I'm 6'4". I'm not oh like, I'm, I think I'm normal, but you are... Gigantic. Dude. Well, come sit to I'm the left right here. Come on, come in. Let's, come let's see. <laughs> come on, Will. Let's do this. Get down there. Have you ever been to Amsterdam before? It's my first time now. It's fucking sick, dude. I'm planning on going. Uh, what's good, brother? I've, I've never met you. I'm Will. No, what's up, mate? Nice meeting you, man. Yeah, how you doing? Do you He's so nice. Uh. Zoil, uh, I think this was the first time I like met him in person. But yeah, we've hung out sometimes. But I see a tall and I see a challenge tip. Start low and push high. Topple the tree. Top heavy. What the fuck? <coughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what's happening. Maybe why not both? Yeah. A casual sort of we're all vibing disposition can definitely be received weirdly, but that's not your fault. Every interaction is pressurized because people come to it with expectations outside of your control, especially when delivering the top of the hour ad break. Oh hey. my god! <laughs> oh my god, dude! You, I thought you were like delivering just th some actual fire. Like I thought you were giving great advice. Meanwhile, you were delivering fire. Uh, speaking of delivery, oh yeah, uh, come outside. You fucking burrito. Your burritos here, mate. Your burrito. Um, but 10, 10, uh, 10, 10 chatter. Good job. Isn't he the dude you were with when the queen died? Yeah, 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 exactly. When we smoked on the queen pack together reluctantly. Um, where was I? We're going to get into the news. There's a lot to talk about today. So fear not it's Monday. Obviously we're going to do the news. Okay. Calm down. News Andes. Uh, before we do that, obviously here's the three minute ad break now. Um, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to serve that to you. The free minute I break at the top of the hour. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon account to your Twitch account to get one free Prime subscription a month. Use it on your favorite broadcaster. Okay. Don't tell I did a thing, but Alexa is my favorite Aussie. His name is not Alexi, though. It's Alexa. Alexi. He heard you. I mean, with that. Oh, oh, I got you. Wow, I got myself, it. too, and I got one for you, coffee. Oh, you're amazing. Yeah, bro. You asked me if I wanted coffee back, so I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm, like, you're, you're like, I'm I, trying I, to. I know what you want. I don't know. I don't know if you uh, realize. I'm trying to get you fat. I'm fattening it's not, you it's up. It's not working. I, it is my, working. My, you gained it, six pounds since the last time we got fucking. But my body fat went down. Yeah, but that's bullshit. That oh, that's a lie. Yeah, that's I just not gained, real. I gained six pounds. Yeah, like, a week of. I mean, it's probably stuff. shit. It's probably shit in water weight. But yeah, I'm, I've been feeding. I've been feeding this man delicious decadent meats nonstop. That was very nice. last night. Oh, so that's what I was gonna say. After the anime expo, we left. And we got home, and Tadek's like, oh, I'm trying to go out. I'm trying to get dinner. And at first, I was just going to order, like, Korean to my house. We were going to eat, but I think he's, he's a fancy bitch, you know, Tadek? I mean, that's... He's that's, a professional athlete. He's, he's, a, he's a professional athlete. See, he knows. He's a major winner. Like, this guy is an American Olympian, right? So, obviously, I'm, I'm going to take him out. 
So I took him to one of my favorite. <laughs> God, I'm such a fucking unbearable, disgusting weeb. Honestly, I took him to one of my favorite Japanese restaurants. Yeah, we had some wagyu. Oh my god! It was god. amazing. Oh, oh, my mouth is watering thinking about it. How often can you have it? Mm-hmm. What it like, like, how often can you have it? If you, I can have it every you, day. But when would you start feeling like you're doing the wrong thing? If you, or is it just good, good to eat it all the time? I just, I oh, I haven't talked about Joe aesthetics yet, but I will. Um. It was so good. It was so fucking good. I could have it every day. I don't give a shit. It would probably... I would start breaking out, though, I assume. And just heaps of raw beef. Because, uh, no, it's just too fatty. That's mm. what it is. That's the problem with it. Um, But... Did I run the ad? I thought I did. Oh, I did not. Okay. You can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky to avoid the ad breaks. Here's that three-minute ad break now. Um... The Aussies are my favorite hot sauce, guys. I swear it's not just because they're hot. Why not, nice. dude? Did you run into like Miskiff and Emma at the Anime Expo? I did. Yeah, they they found us at the at the beer garden. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting to see all those streamers there. The the, was there. the Japanese cuts that we had were not in Sautel or Little Tokyo. It's actually in Beverly Hills. Kai was so tired on race stream yesterday. Are you making her run marathons every morning? Uh, yes. I take her, I take her out. I make her run around a lot, and then she's fucking dead the whole day. I mean, you could. T- Wait, she's sleeping right now. Turn around. <laughs> she's literally sleeping on like her back, like a human on her back. Yeah. Um. So. I did that this morning as well. She was she's fucking dead. She's gonna be dead for the what rest of the day. Worse? This she morning was like crazy. She played with dogs. like four yeah. First she played with Huxley and Finley. Okay. And then she tired out the Belgian Malinois. And then then there was another Doberman puppy that came in that's like a year old. So then she started playing with a Doberman puppy. So then she was like she was already tired to begin with, but when the Doberman puppy came, she like got a second win. She's one hundred percent dead. Like she's just dead i couldn't even get her <laughs> i couldn't even take her upstairs in my room while i was showering uh she was just like no, no i'm good I, and i couldn't bring her downstairs <laughs> afterwards like she doesn't even go want to go down and upstairs like she's just fucking so tired um so good was, to be able to do that though i feel like a lot yeah. of people have their dogs just indoors, yeah not moving around yeah she's uh she's 40 pounds by the way I weighed her this morning. She's like 40 point. She's 40 pounds plus like 40.1 pounds, basically. Did you put her on the body fat machine to see what percentage she is? No. But, um, God, you like the new NATO Japanese lager? No, I don't. It was weird. And it, it's also made in San Diego, I think. How old is she now? She's like four months and change. Um, apparently, while we were, apparently, you know, uh, Ray was taking care of her while we were at the con. And uh, she looked real sleepy. Because she played basketball all morning. Yeah, I, I, I took her to the park as well. So she's just, you know. South Coronado, look at my username. I know the owner. Oh, yeah, Coronado. I didn't really like it that much. I'm sorry. You know. Is that what, was that at the expo? Is that the one you guys were having? Yeah. Not a Ray's gonna steal Kaya from you. Wait, what? No, she's not. I miss Kaya. Oh. I miss Kaya too. But that, oh, I feel like Kaya is manhandled. He's a monster. I was trying to watch his stream for Kaya Cam. There's no Kaya Cam. No, he's Kaya also cam. not even holding her like the way I would. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bullshit. Like, the way he, he also just carries her in such uh, the wrong way. And I- my man oh. said, "My man said Palestine drama, like, what? like mercilessly drone striking civilians and killing nine of them is drama, dude. Like it's a fucking streamer, uh, you know, it, it cheating on another streamer or something. Like, bro said Palestine drama question mark about Maya? yeah is no." <laughs> No, there's new there's new developments well, there's in Palestine. Yeah, Palestine? there's new there's yeah. new beef. 
Yeah, it's called Apartheid. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. It's really dramatic. And I'm just like, that's not how she likes to be held. You don't know her like I do. Oh, my God. She wants belly rubs. She wants Oh, my God. I just... I changed my mind. Give the dog back. Give the give dog back. Yeah, give now. dog back now. Thank you, Demacius, I mean, for the playlist. Very, very got nice to Kaya. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I don't like that. Okay. I I don't I don't like that at all. As a matter of fact, um, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna stop uh, letting her take care of Kaya because I feel like uh, Kaya likes her more so we're not doing that anymore all right moving on um check this shite ms paint i made <laughs> e edit the other day uh, guess who this is the constable you're the con you're the constable oh my god how do they know my name does your person okay. have a big nose no is your person wearing a hat yes i know alexa volovich wait is that your full name maybe Bro, I don't know your fucking government yeah. name. What how the did, fuck? Why do they know it? that? That's terrifying. Dude, Chad is literally the CIA. With like the little Serbian um C? The H. Yeah, yeah, the the reverse. We have that as well in Turkish, but it's on the in the bottom. What sound does it make? Ch. You guys have two CH sounds? No, we have one. We got Ch and Ch. No, it's it's fucked. It's done it. Then you got a fat Wikipedia page. Oh yeah, yeah, fair enough. All yeah, right. not as scary. Yeah, that's all right. Um, anyway, but yeah, we went on a fucking decadent journey of meat last night. It was incredible. So many different cuts. Oh, all melted in your mouth. Fuck me, that shit was so good. I really thought I would gain weight uh, since the last time I got uh, weighed. But uh, no, I've actually yeah. lost weight. I'm still, I'm still on my weight loss journey. I'm still the skinny kid. Two forty, two forty six. You've given it all to me. What? You've given it all to me. Yeah, I gained he How gained, he gained six pounds. Uh, I have, I think, I, when I came back, I was like two fifty or something, and I just like dropped it back down immediately to two forty six. And uh, we're gonna get back down. Uh, we're gonna get back down to. Uh, uh, hopefully 235 that's what we're going for 247 you fatty uh -huh. yes solid autism but what does it have to do with weight i don't know uh, he, i just like to sometimes read funny usernames you have an ideal weight yes 225 i'm trying to get down to like 10 to 12 percent body fat So Aussie's like fireworks. We have realized that it's like very illegal and filming yeah, yeah. it, filming doing illegal shit in my house might not be the best idea. So we'll figure it out. Yeah, we don't we don't really have fireworks. We have like a big state run fireworks thing for New Year's. That's about it. We're an authoritarian country. We we love. Yeah, you guys have no guns. It's yeah. like fucked up. That's why that's why Alex is constantly making new guns. <laughs> he loves guns, we've realized. <laughs> yeah, he was just born in the wrong country. He would have been yeah. like a libertarian gun guy here. Yeah, it's funny. Tadek was we were like describing to Tadek what he does. Mm -hmm. And we realized like, fuck, this dude makes guns a lot. Like he makes a lot of fucking guns despite being Australian. Um I don't even wanna comment on that though. It was like the more we use the G word, the more likely police are going to come to our house. Yeah. Um, he makes projectiles. Yeah, yeah, that have uh, like a, a like a trigger mechanism that combusts. Yeah. Uh, some powder. Yeah, it's like that, a, it's like a potty that pop shoots. Up. Yeah, that shoots a projectile in a direction that you point to. Kinetically yeah, not launching the projectile. Um, what is this? I'm just here for the cosplay, nothing else. <laughs> Trying to get down with his sword. 
They love. They loved both of you guys in, in, in your cosplay. Aww. There's an extra one. Oh, shit. I should have kept the pigtails on. They look so cool. <laughs> it would have been so hot. Yeah, you would have fucking was, died in there. I wouldn't be able to see anything. My filming would have been even worse. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get much from what we just saw, but. um, What else? What else? What is this? larger. Big baby okay, I want to see this. Okay, I, you know what I you can't. need to do. You need to. I can't. You need I can't. to take Mika and be really, really sweet. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna it. steal. I'm gonna steal Mika. Um, Auntie did a fan cam of I did a thing. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, we looked at this. We looked at that. We're gonna do all of that. We're gonna cover all of that. Um, what else? Oh, here is, uh, Jenilyn Meowry's, uh, cosplay that you guys want me to look at. It's great. Very talented. Sexy. What person uh, is no, this? We met her. No, no, I mean Street Fighter. I mean, like, what character is this? I don't know. Cammy. Cammy White. Literally. Uh, bro, this is like the meme where you go, like, uh, I don't know what color anything is. Like, <laughs> it's right there, bro. Cammy White from Street Fighter. Yeah. That's the arcade one? The buttons and the joystick? Yeah. Yeah. He can't read that. He's busy. <laughs> um, what is this? Dude, Toxic Gossip Train hasn't left my mind for mm. since I first saw it. Like I've just literally been singing it in my mind. Kaho did Nico Robin? No way. Hey. We missed it. Are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. As long as it's entertaining to you. Right? Did you ever play Guitar Hero? Having fun. All aboard! Not really. I was cracked at that game. I I wouldn't expect any less. You brought your guitar to mm. America. Mm. Who does that? Someone wants to look cool at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Someone who gets pussy. Um, where's the Kaho cosplay? I did, I, it's not on her uh, Twitter. Icon? What is this? Fucking god damn it. And blocked by this person too. Great. Wait, I can't even. Oh, never mind. Maybe. My favorite moment from Sea Dog V's auction was Boy Boy eating a banana in the crowd. <laughs> apparently, apparently you were like staring, <laughs> staring at Iron. Yeah, Mouse. <laughs> he didn't realize that Iron Mouse has like a camera and can talk back, like on the iPad. <laughs> so apparently, he was just looking at Iron Mouse like this, like up close, like for like two minutes straight. And then I finally saw my face and realized I just looked really pissed off, like just staring this. Staring this VTuber in the in the in the screen. <laughs> you can't see tweets not logged in anymore. I can't show you the men's work. Oh, I can't see not logged in uh, tweets, so I can't even fucking look at that. That's so funny. Uh, whatever. Who gives a shit? Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking keep blocking motherfuckers so hard now. What have they done? Um, Twitter hasn't paid their like google fees or whatever so they're trying to like limit holy shit they're trying to limit shit as best as they can and one of the things they implemented was uh limiting one of the things they implemented was basically limiting uh outside like non-logged in accounts can't see tweets anymore that's fucked i if i'm the only person in my friendship group that's on twitter i can't yeah. share things with anyone anymore yeah wow you have I real you friends. have a lot of like normie friends, which yeah. uh, is probably good that's, for your sanity. That's just Australia. There are no content creators over there. It's awesome. So it's, yeah. No, that's sick. That's great. Everyone I know is like a fucking like architect or some other useless job. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? What what kind of value are they providing to society? Pff, so buildings? Stupid. Yeah. Lame. <laughs> She's... She's currently <laughs> snoring. Did you see? Oh, you didn't hear it? Oh, this is, uh, this is, uh, wait, did she just upload it or something? What the fuck? 
Oh, this is an I'm older one. At 6 a.m. No, it's from April. This is older. Oh. It's sick though. It's great. Who is this? Who's the? This, who are they playing? Who are uh, they Nico playing? Robin. Nico Robin. Anything. Oh shit! I gotta fucking blast off real quick. Hold up. I haven't even. Um. Monday Newsday. France has fallen. I think but, that was yeah, the, but this time. They don't like it. It's them stopping people from scrubbing the HTML from the site since the API costs shit tons. Does that New Zealander next to you know that Australian YouTuber, I've done some things? I remember my mom was trying to recount like what Alex's channel was to tell one of her friends. And she's like, what is the channel? Uh, look what I done. <laughs> <laughs> look what I done. <laughs> Uh, that's a good. Yeah, that's a good. Much, much better than his current. Yeah, movie. look what I done. Uh, what have I done? Uh, all right, all right, all right. Um, Scotus Mania and more. Also, my anime. So yeah. Oh my gosh! Do an Iron Mouse. Do an Iron Mouse cosplay. Okay, one thing I will say, I think because we're not super initiated with uh, VTubers. I don't know anything about anyone. Okay, for me, I only know Iron Mouse. So anytime I see like someone who's like a VTuber or like an anime girl and someone says like, that's a VTuber, I think, oh, that's Iron Mouse. Yeah. I've literally been, I, I'm, I'm coming out and, and telling you guys this. I don't know any VTubers. So I literally just only think they're Iron Mouse. I know like... Oh, it's Code Miko. I, 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 know, I know, but like Code Miko is like 3D. Yeah, you know what I mean? So like I can differentiate. Fake. Fake um, VTuber. 2D so, only. but like everyone else, like if there's like a 2D girl... Oh, I know Shoto too. I know Shoto too. But that's like, he's male, right? So all male VTubers well, are boy, Shoto. They're boy VTubers. What do you mean, boy? I thought it was meant to be like a vagina tuber. What does the V stand for? Video. Why would it be? I don't know. I'm, I'm new to the vagina tuber. I'm, I'm, I'm new to the yeah, whole thing. Like, vagi like the fallopian tubes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm a <laughs> fallopian tuber. Oh, no, it's not, even, it's not even video. It's virtual, dude. Oh, I dude, didn't okay, know good, either. Good. It's not just me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> He's a, okay. Yeah. Yeah, VTubers and PTubers. I'm a Bolivian, <laughs> a <Bolivian tuber. laughs> Oh, no. You held a VTuber named Nimune on a leash IRL anyways? Okay, but that's like a human that I met. Wait, what? Uh, was it the Pokemon? The human. The no, no, that was a different one. This was in uh, TwitchCon EU. I, I held like a like a VTuber on a leash before, but like but it was the person themselves and not oh, like their right, VTuber right, right. character. Um. Okay, virtual tuber. Virtual tuber, yeah. Tuber. So, anyway, um, so you're saying Iron Mouse isn't human, Lamount? No, like, like Iron Mouse, the person behind the Iron Mouse VTuber character, is is not someone I've met in person. You know what I mean? Whereas, like, I'm. Like in the flesh, I don't know what the proper term is. I don't know. <laughs> People are gonna get mad now. They're gonna be like, "That's like very insensitive." Erasure. It's like I fucking we don't know, man. We don't know. You know, Vay, so does a girlfriend as well. Um, I do, I do know of her. Uh, Hassan isn't caught up with the trash taste lore. Wait, what do you mean? Their flesh avatar. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Wait, flesh, is, that, is that what it's actually called? I don't know. I think we are flesh tubers. Okay. <laughs> like we do flesh tubing. Yeah, nice. I like um, that. Bro, please end Uncle Corner. What? Okay. They're just saying that like we're fucking old and we're old and we don't understand things and they're getting mad at us for not understanding things. Um, I've always wanted to be an uncle influencer. Yeah. Teach people how to be nice to their nephews. That's the that's the most important thing you gotta teach. Yeah, man. Yeah. For some of that uncle magic. Yeah. 
Get your nephews to be nice to you, 101. <laughs> I'm sure uh, that must exist. Yeah. Uh, what, Uncle 101? Yeah, like Uncle Uncle Tuba. Uncle Magic. A oh, you, YouTuber. Yeah. Hey. Um, Y'all are helping me understand what VTubers are. I, too, only know Iron Mouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. Like, I only know, I know, only know like, a handful. And I, I do have, like, a little bit of, like, face blindness, I guess. What's that? I have a little bit of a face blindness with VTubers where I just, like, I can't differentiate between like VTuber and VTuber. So I just always think like, especially if they have any kind of pink, I'm like, oh, that's Iron Mouse. Like mm. that's 100%. That's Iron Mouse. Are and then- v- Are there VTubers out there that don't look like anime avatars? I think literally all of them look like anime wow. avatars. There's no like Sim- right? Simpsons VTuber. Dude, okay. you really want to fucking, you want to fuck Marge, I think. Yeah, of course. I admitted to that the first time I came in here. Yeah, you want to fuck Marge? and you- Wait, how, how does this make you feel? I don't know. Are you allowed to show any of this on stream? Yeah, they're hot. I love curly hair. Identical too? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'm more of a patty guy. I don't, yeah. I don't Not know, a like, Selma guy? No. Nah, nah. mm. There's a YouTuber who's a dad who teaches dad stuff like oh, who grew up yeah. without dads. <laughs> I heard about him. Yeah, but we, we need an uncle. Yeah. Like very underrepresented. A lot of people grew up without uncles. You know? Yeah. Severely underrepresented is the, the uncle constituency in this conversation. It's like, how do nephews, yeah, how, how do nephews exist without uncles? You know what I mean? I mean, technically not, but. Um, they're like an adopt a nephew program. You know how you've got like, you can be someone's parent. Can you I be think someone's uncle for a little while? I think so. Yeah. I know a guy that's a chicken VTuber. Nice. What is this? This he sounds more like XCC than XCC himself. Yeah, this guy always does. Chat, 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 chat. So, dude, I got the coffee because I was tired. Right, right, right. I was tired. Now I'm awake, dude. What? I didn't know coffee could do that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty like, good. That's I the like anti-European racism is the best. Well, I got not European, but like anti. French anti Italian. Yeah, well, I mean, he's none of those things. He's a fucking Quebecer, okay? Uh, that's like that's like French. a league of his own. They're their own. Oh no. They're they're fucking they're worse somehow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's hard to be worse, but they they did it. Um anyway, Monday news they Paris on fire, but this time they don't like it. Scotus Mania more also my anyone haul from the expo. Get in and now I haven't even fucking blasted off yet. God damn it. Listen. These couple of days are going to be like a little, uh, you know, they're they're going to be a little wonky with the news coverage and everything else because, you know, it's 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 the freaking weekend kind of. It's the long weekend. Some of you guys have taken days off, maybe from work. I assume. I don't know. I feel like it's weird to have Fourth of July on a Tuesday because then like a lot of places won't let you not go into work on Monday and Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Don't people just like call in sick? Oh, you guys don't do that in America. I don't know. It's uh, I. I don't. No, there's no. No, you. You. You're supposed to, dude. In America, pregnant women go back to work oh, after yeah. giving birth. Okay. <laughs> like, what do you mean? There's no. There's no things like that. We had like um our prime minister like when I forgot what 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 holiday it was. It was that similar vibe. It was like either the holiday was on a Thursday, and he was like telling everyone like oh, I'll just call in sick on Friday. What? It was a. It was an executive order. <laughs> An executive order to call in sick? Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, Aussies, is. Australia is fucking crazy. It's weird. I'm still not as good as the... the Can't wait Europeans. to go. Can't wait to go. Yeah, Corpo job didn't even tell me. It was a work from home day. Went to work on Monday. Legit, just me and the CEO of the office, and they closed at 3 p.m. Uh, nice. Hanging out with a CEO. You don't That's get, how you get up in the world. You That's don't get you paid <laughs> if you don't go in the day before or after the holidays? What the fuck? How do they know how much not to pay you? They like dock you an entire day. I have no idea how this stuff works. What do you mean? Wait, say it again. Like they don't pay you. So it means like they, they work out how much a day of your time is. And they say this is canceled from your like paycheck. Yeah. 
Wait. Well, I feel like a lot of people work like I guess if you're working on an hourly basis, it might make sense. No, even but. if you're salaried, they still will prorate your hourly pay and dock it, wow. depending on like your compensation. Yeah, okay. And like how many days off you have. Wait, what? How does that I work see. in Australia? I mean, you get you get certain quotas of days. You get like um, certain number of sick days a year. Yeah. Which... Well, it depends. It depends on the company. It, it totally depends on the company. Right, right. Some places will give you sick days. Some places will give you paid time off. Not a lot of places do that. There's no federal mandate for it, though. Right, right. So, like, up to... America is the only OECD nation on the planet that does not have... I don't think it has any federally mandated time off, uh, paid time off, or uh, federally mandated uh, sick days. Does there ever like is there ever like a positive to that? Are there any companies that like have crazy time off for people to attract? No, that doesn't work that way. Well, uh, some, like, maybe jobs. some places you get a percentage of a sick day for each day you work. What? That's weird. Oh, like time in. I like get forty hours PTO, PTO, and eighty hours for vacation. Eighty hour vacation, a year. No, nobody's. 80 hours a year. Yeah. How many days? That's like three days. Yeah. I was like, I should be laughing. That's hot. fucked. Yeah. It's like. Fuck. If I knew the hour amount of my vacations, I would. That's actually I'd... pretty good. That's like two weeks. 80 hours? 80 work hours. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Okay. Fuck, I think that's how it reads it. Not you don't work twenty four hours a day. Well, technically you do, but do. it doesn't count like that. I work hard. Go to the anime expo. Like for me, for me, it does work like that. Like I have a contract. I'm not even entirely sure on how it works, but I have something like that right. worked out in it. And you get holiday time in there, or it's just no. Like literally, because I fucking because my work load is technically twenty four hours a day. So for me, it doesn't work that way. Like I don't get. I just get like 80 full hours rather than, oh, that technically means uh, two weeks oh, <laughs> of, right. of, yeah. The minimum yeah. amount of hours in Denmark is, I think, six weeks a year, which is cringe. Chad is loving this conversation. There's so many Six like, weeks a year? Yeah. You think that's cringe? <clears throat> like, why? You think it's too much? Like, I don't understand. People that's are too awesome. Lazy, lazy Danes. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, yeah, dude. That's really cool. I wonder what the amount is. I want there. more. This motherfucker oh, said that's good. That's okay. <laughs> that makes sense. I was like, what? I. <laughs> I mean, that's that's cool. That that actually blew my mind a little bit. That he's like six weeks is not enough. I mean, you're right. Yeah, the minimum in Australia is four weeks. So that's not fair. I can't even imagine, dude, six weeks off. Americans in the chat are like, what the fuck? What do you, how do you work? Like, does it, does it actually happen? Who's doing work in the country? Yeah, but that's why Denmark doesn't have any innovation or any. Yeah, yeah. Know, like Famously, when I think of like, uh, you know, shitty countries with no technological improvements whatsoever, with a horrible quality of life, I think of Denmark. Denmark yeah. Yeah. They're doing awful over there. Everybody knows. Um, six week off in America is called unemployment. Yeah, literally. <laughs> That's when the unemployment insurance stops uh, paying you. They're like six weeks. Okay, what the fuck? Get back to work, lazy bones. Uh, hey, Hassan, this was uh, oh yeah, this was me who called Ludwig the right wing YouTuber. Look at my finally, hair. Finally, someone said it. Yeah, look at my fucking hair. By the way, that looks awesome. It makes you look taller. And I can confirm your head is normal size, but not beating the weeb allegations. Yeah, MAGA mail. Unemployment is 14 weeks. I was joking, by the way, but thank you for clarifying. I, I think that uh, is different state by state anyway, but. Yeah, but at least you get paid while looking for a new job. Oh, wait, sorry, my bad. Okay, now you're just fucking flexing, dude. This this guy's in Denmark. This, is the this guy's in Denmark. He's just like, uh, <laughs> he's just flexing on us, dude. Hey, how about how about tomorrow when we shoot guns, you can watch, okay? Yeah, we have freedom. 
freedom to fucking be shot by a stray bullet, but also that's still freedom nonetheless. It's a different type of freedom. A lot of you European pussies are not capable of handling that kind of freedom. Too much freedom. Yeah, we don't have that freedom. We got to make our own guns secretly in the yeah. garage. Yeah, and then the police come to your house and they demand to take the gun away from you. I'm Danish and I'm moving into my own apartment tomorrow. The government is paying $600 a month in exchange for me going to school. Like they get paid. They get paid to go to school. Even you don't know what that's yeah, like. That Even Australia is too fucking cucked. If you're an English speaking country, you're just so fucked. <laughs> They're okay. like education. That's a privilege. <laughs> what do you no, mean? It's a, it's a it's a it's a job that the government has to pay you to do. That's Wait, awesome. I mean, so do they? They don't pay you. No, 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 no. Yeah, in England, you have to pay for college still, uh, as well. Yeah, you, you take out a loan. I guess the same thing here. Yeah, great system. We would love that. Um, what else is there? Although PhDs are free in Australia. Nice. Lame. Ew. What, what is this? You want you want people to learn homosexual Marxism? Wow. What did you what you get a what you get a PhD in, dude? Gay being gay? Fucking got them. <laughs> well, Americans have to have to go into debt to learn how to be gay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, as it should be, because we don't want PhDs in the country. We we hate that. It's so funny that like in the United States of America, I'm joking, but they do kind of have that attitude where they're like, PhD, fucking idiot. Like, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, you bet you bet you got a dumb PhD in, like, fucking social sciences. Like, <laughs> we shouldn't learn any of that. And it's like, bro, you graduated from high school. Like, you're not even a part of the STEM Lord conversation. Like, why are you <laughs> centering yourself in this? I love when motherfuckers, like, motherfuckers with, like, a GED will be like, yeah, College is bullshit, brother. And also, <laughs> all these bullshit majors instead of doctorates, uh, instead of people becoming doctors. And it's like, you don't even believe in doctors. <laughs> you think, you think you know, uh, blood boiling and leeches are going to cure you of your fucking cancer. You literally think doctors are in on the gay conspiracy to vaccinate your children. And also, simultaneously, you're not a part of this conversation at all. You got a GED, motherfucker. Shut up. Oh yeah, no, it's not Kyrg it's not Kyrgyzstan, it's Kazakhstan. Um and it's not Minnesota, it's Alabama. You Did I misunderstand what they were well, saying? Cuz I was also right Kazakhstan. Yeah. Is. Not a thing. Uh but yeah, there are twice as many doctors per capita uh, in Kazakhstan as there are in Alabama or Missouri. Was it Alabama? I was just listening to that in the shower. There's some updates about Kazakhstan in the shower. I was just Mississippi. Oh, uh, we both got it wrong. Mississippi, not Missouri, not Alabama. It's Mississippi. That's fucked. How fucking incredible! You should do an, a, like a reverse Borat, which is American guy goes goes to, Kazakhstan to Mississippi to learn how to how to oh. you know, have a functioning society. Yeah. That's great. No blood leeches is black salve these days. Barely got to push flesh eating substance in your wound. Lamau. PhD students in the U.S. make an average 24K per year. Fuck that. Dude, it's great. I love making sure that our labor force is less productive. <laughs> like, you know, uh, for, for short-term profits. Um, it's just not profitable enough. Yeah, as someone with a GED, if you can get your diploma, do it. And if you can go to college, fucking go. Don't waste an opportunity for a better edu education if you have it. Yeah, there's no issue with like ha people having only a GED or, or a high school graduate. Uh, okay, I do have an issue, however, with motherfuckers who are like, "Oh yeah, uh, I only think STEM is important." And it's like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, what? Where? What? How did you center yourself in this fucking conversation? Like, how did you get involved in the conversation to be like, oh, yeah, no, no one else go to college either? Or if you're going to go to college, you can only get an engineering degree. It's like, well, you're not an engineer, so what the fuck are you talking about? Sounds like they'd love China. Everyone's an engineer. <laughs> yeah. Um, trying to stem your way out of college. 24K a year is honestly pretty good. I just got here time traveling for 1973 and I barely made half of that even though I was building a time machine. <laughs> yeah. Not a big market for that, it seems. 
how do you advance your country's culture if all your citizens are in STEM? First of all, we don't even have all of our citizens in STEM. The, uh, that's just another way to deflect from the conversation. That's it. That's that's basically it. Did Boy Boy ever finish his doctorate? Did you have a doctorate? Uh, I was doing a PhD, but I never finished it. Like YouTube kicked off um, in the middle of it. Dude, hell which yeah, the best. Brother, yeah, Don't yeah. do that fucking it lame was, ass. But you were learning how to be lame. I was. I what was. Were, were we doing a? I what was were we studying doing, in? Um, military propaganda in video games. Was my um. See, this was, is what I mean. Yeah, we don't need YouTube more of this. We don't a, need more of this. That's why so many fucking YouTubers have PhDs, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially in BreadTube. Like, especially any kind of leftist on YouTube, literally, you have to have a fucking PhD. Because it's, it's, you're, you're it's just basically writing. Yeah, that's why so many of my audience also, literally, there was a guy that came up to me and he, wrote, he told me he wrote his uh, dissertation on me. What? Yeah. Um, a bunch of people have done that in my community, as a matter of fact. What? Um, from a media angle, political propaganda angle, there's like a bunch of different ones. Yeah. <sighs> what will we do if all of our citizens are in labor? That is what they pose, not us. Are you going to have all your citizens be pregnant at once? What is he talking about? No, he means like tradies. Everyone's uh, a tra everyone's uh, a fucking tradie. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Everyone's hot. <laughs> uh, I miss those guys. Yeah, they're hot. <laughs> they're hot and they wear short shorts. <laughs> I love it's scary, man. <laughs> I love that you like. I would never be afraid of a man like this. Oh, missing all the short shorts. What's yeah, going on? there's oh, no there short shorts here. What's happening? Kind of short. This is my favorite. Yeah, that's th those are those are our boys. Like, like these guys tried to tell me that, like, you know, these guys are scary. <laughs> like they tried to tell <laughs> me that just the, the the tough guys of the country. Th no, they're not, bro. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> no, the fuck, they're not. Hold up. Everyone was scared of us back when we were working on jumping castles. Like, in our little short tradies shorts. prefer their shorts as short as possible survey reveals. Like, I'm sorry. If this is the workman's uniform, no, you're, like, not capable of doing a hate crime. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, he, like, imagine growing up in Australia and no one telling you, like, they the just short, look short super gay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's you like just have developed a different... You just have developed your whole life an entirely different perspective on on tradies. Like you think, like no, these are the scary guys. I thought Australia was the same. Have you, have you watched? I mean, I thought America was the same. Have you ever watched um, Seinfeld? They, yeah, of they've course got like so. the two like super camp guys that bully Kramer all the time. That's Australia. The super camp guys that bully the, Kramer. The, the, the kind of like um, Puerto Rican gay guy who's like I don't remember that. Oh, they just you know they're like super camp, but like. Kramer's always afraid they're going to beat him up. It's like a really strange, strange, recurring character. I don't remember it. Oh, well, that's Australia. The landlord and the Puerto Rican guy? Yeah. They are the most racist and homophobic. To you, they look gay, but they hate them. That's the funniest part. It's like, if this guy was to use, like, the F word down the <laughs> If I heard this guy saying the F word, I'd be like, oh, he can say it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. He's like, he can say it. Back. it. Like, I, I would just be like, yeah, that's a gay guy. He's just, like, saying it lovingly. You know, like how Austin talks about, like, his WeHo adventures where, like, yeah. someone in a someone in a car in WeHo will, like, roll down the window and, and scream the F word at him. Like, as a, and it's a gay guy. Like, that's what I would think. <laughs> that's great. All Australians get a pass. Yeah. Oh, this? Seinfeld, oh, love, best I of... I love this bit. It's just so Cedric. strange. Yes, me too. Ay, it's gorgeous, completely. Pick it up. No, no, pick it up from the bottom. Wait, 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 what are you doing? Huh? What does it look like we're doing? We're taking this. You can't take this. This belongs to a friend of mine. Look, you want to get hurt? Huh? I don't think you want to get hurt, because if you want to get hurt, I can hurt you. I just back up. Uh, just pick it up. Okay, but that's just like, he's not even gay. Oh, that's he's, just Puerto Rican. Yeah, he's just Puerto oh, Rican. <laughs> Lost in translation. Why yeah. was he doing like the little the well, hand gestures? Puerto Rican. Oh, shit. What is it, son? You have some kind of product here? What is it you're not understanding? <laughs> no, they're a gay couple. I'm oh, just... okay, thank God. <laughs> I was just like, man, I'm way off. I know nothing about America. There's just a, a state just in America that's just I'm full of gay people. I'm fucking around, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking the armoire, and that's all there is to it. Take okay? the armoire. <laughs> and they're, like, recurring. They keep coming back and, like... Um, scaring Kramer. This is the tradie anthem, though.
So how do you fucking look at this and then say that I exaggerate the Australian accent? I mean, I'm you, a, you smoke, so eh? I want smoky. It doesn't sound like these. Yes, words. it does. You sound exactly like I'm that. On smoke, eh? <laughs> I'm on smoke. I'm on smoke. Oh, uh, they're oh. bogan as fuck. I'm just saying, like, he always says I have two different Australian accents, like one that's like actually good, and then one that seems like I'm making fun of an yeah, Australian, yeah. a person imitating Australians. The worst thing is, like, we've picked up your like bad Australian accent. Oh, you know, always yeah. like, like no, sure, no, sure, yeah. You don't normally say nor, no, banana. <laughs> yeah, I don't always say banana. <laughs> banana. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway, he's just he just thinks he thinks like he picked it up. Meanwhile, it was just him all along. That's just how it was. I picked <laughs> your yeah, accent like, up. No, 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 it's the other way yeah. around. No, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. On Smoko. Oh, or nor these videos we wanted to show you but maybe i'll wait for alex okay well you and i want to watch oh, um do you have a chinese movie no, no I've, I've not been looking for it i've been with this, you the whole time yeah <laughs> he's just been having fun he's yeah. just not <laughs> oh no oh my god this Our morning nar. the thing you told me was the saddest thing anyone's ever oh, told can, can, you, tell you want me to it's, tell chat it's depressing it's very lame <laughs> he's I, like He's like, I haven't been able to pick up on my podcasts. Okay, we're driving, we're driving back to my house. He goes, Oh, I haven't been able to like pick up on my podcasts because you know he listens to the same shit I do, right? Uh, you know, Chapo, True and On, that kind of stuff. And <laughs> apparently in Australia, because he's got nothing else to do, like I, I, he just listens to a lot of podcasts. And the part where we are are very different from one another is that like I'm listening to a lot of podcasts when I'm doing other shit. Right? He apparently needed something else. <laughs> you tell the story. No, because, like, look, you can listen to podcasts when you're cleaning or when you're showering, but, like, I, you know, that's still a limited part of my day, and I got so many podcasts to get through. Uh, <laughs> and then sometimes, like, you know, I can't just sit there and listen to a podcast because my mind wanders, so I need, like, something to do that is, like, stimulating but not, not like, doesn't distract from the thing. And so I started doing, like, online puzzles, uh... Just like sitting there doing puzzles. And then like that wasn't really engaging enough. <laughs> Why am I telling these people? This is horrible. No, uh, I, so I started, started just doing sexy puzzles. <laughs> like I'd get like not not pornography, which is probably worse. Um just like just like girls in swimsuits at the beach and me just like <laughs> three three hundred pieces putting it together while like I'm listening to true and all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> he it's just so sits bad. there online and just does I, like... I always wondered like who buys those. Um, you know, like, I, I don't know if you guys had Zoo Magazine here, but it was like those magazines that were just like sexy girls. But like, <laughs> like not, not pornography. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like, I'm like, that's the lamest shit I've ever heard. And then like fast forward 10 years and I'm just listening to podcasts and doing puzzles, <laughs> <laughs> puzzles of girls in bikinis. It's just so funny. We had FHM and Maxim. Yeah, we had FHM in Turkey too. Oh, I finally God. understand FHM. Yeah, if you cut the magazine up into little pieces and give me a, make me work for the <laughs> for the picture. Good Chinese movie. Wait, does it have English subtitles though? Which one is it? It doesn't even say. Oh, is it Jack Ma performing live? I saw a guy on a microphone. Oh no. Is this wandering, wandering Earth, wandering planet? It says three oh. body. In 2007, an abnormal disturbance occurred in the basic sciences on Earth. The whole scientific world was jittery. The mysterious suicide of scientists count down the science boundary, the three body problem game. Nanomaterials researcher Wang Miao was taken to the Joint Operations Center. Gang. It's based on a book. It's a series based on a awesome. trilogy. So we want to watch uh, like newer Chinese propaganda, like the Battle like of like Joseph. Rambo. Oh yeah, but Wolf for Warrior. China, like Chinese Rambo. I already watched the Battle for Chosen Reservoir. Yeah, and it was sick. Um, definitely watch it again. Just gotta find it. Find it. This is hard sci-fi. You won't get it. Okay, well that's what I. Um, Wait, that, what? That's what we want to watch. We want to watch like uh, like Chinese. Military propaganda together. 
And I was thinking, like, what are they going to do? They're not going to fucking hit me with a top-of-the-hour ad break. You know what I mean? They're not going to hit me with a DMCA. They're not going to hit me with a top-of-the-hour ad break. I will, though, hit you with a top-of-the-hour ad break at the top of the hour when there's a three-minute ad break. If you no longer percent on Rotten Tomatoes. These people are dickheads. If you no longer want to see those ads, oh, if you no longer want to be a dickhead, um, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with Twitch Prime, or by getting gifted a sub. If you're lucky, here's a three-minute ad break now. There was a Karl Marx anime made by the CCP. Oh, we yeah, wanted to watch yeah. that too. I've, I've only watched like the first two minutes. I've always wanted to watch it with... I can't watch it by myself because I feel like that's the lamest thing I could do. Yeah, no, definitely. Wait, watching anime by yourself is way lamer than doing sexy puzzles while listening to your favorite leftist podcast. <laughs> I'm learning and I'm getting aroused. It's like the, <laughs> it's, it's the ultimate male experience. Oh, God. This book is anti-cultural revolution and not propaganda, Lamau. Which book? Oh, the no, no, I don't care about that book. The that the the one yeah. that you want me to watch. Mm -hmm. I I want to watch pro Chinese propaganda. The the Battle of Chosen Reservoir is a bit weird as well because it's like, actually, I'm just going to sound like a Western Western socialist, but like they they don't really talk about communism much. About a war that like was you are definitely what, to you do are with such communism. A, you are such a Western socialist. Lady World, thank you for the five gifted. It's like, what? They made a movie and it's not talking about scientific socialism? I don't really understand. <laughs> Why isn't this Chinese movie <laughs> describing scientific socialism? Socialism in existence. I, I don't really get it. It's like, it's a wonderful thing that they have there. We need Alex's podcast plus puzzle recommendations. <laughs> I got the good it's ones. Like, I've, I've been like, doing this for a while. Bro, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> like a bottle of you're like a sommelier with like the the specific type of sexy puzzle not every sexy puzzle is good well, for true, every podcast because, like sometimes let's say you got someone at the beach right the majority of those three like oh, 150 of those 300 pieces are going to be just blue sky yeah it takes so long and it's like really hard to do they need oh like so you want titty you, you want you want more titty less blue it needs sky be, it needs to be indoors you know it needs to be like yeah, yeah. Mark's anime is mid. Propaganda department is all full of party fail sons. Yeah, it's all like the weird theater kid nerds that probably wanted to do propaganda. <laughs> um, what is this? Born to Fly? Oh, this is the Chinese Top Gun. You've never seen this? No. I assume it's on... Oh, it's CGI, I think. The CGI was pretty rough you know, in Chosen really Reservoir. Rough. Don't look that great. That, he's hot, though. So many advanced fighter jets waiting to fly. Begin. Much like new fighter jets, test pilots are tempered in extreme conditions. Oh, he's a boxer, too. Whoa! kind of cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Until <laughs> today. It's just a problem. Yeah. <laughs> but like even, but, but the fact that it's Chinese makes it instantly unique to me. You know what I mean? Like, I, there's not enough gay stuff in this though, it seems. Like Top oh, Gun is, top, top Gun is very gay. Well, first one especially. Oh. <laughs> oh. What wars are they simulating here? Like what's even... I always assumed it would have to be Korea, right? Like what? Whoa! He's going to space. Whoa, he's shooting. He's, he's shooting at the, the fucking plane. Whoa. <laughs> the blood is so bad. <laughs> That was, I'm sorry, that makeup was terrible, dog. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Although maybe that's what blood does at like high G force, you know? You're like... <laughs> Number one China simp. Yeah. I'm not even <laughs> kidding. It's like, it's literally... Dude, Alexa is straight up. Like, if you think I'm a China simp, this man, oh my lord, I dude. Is, I, I, was, I was raised a China simp. Yeah. Know? I've been a China simp since day one. <laughs> Back when NATO bombed the Chinese embassy in Belgrade and you saw all these Chinese people protesting, that was like, that was a big turning point for me as a seven-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
yeah, this one. The battle at Lake Shangjin. Oh, Shang That's the one we gotta watch. That's like the... It's gonna test everyone. The one really cool thing about the Chinese action movies like this is that like your they use like real uh, equipment I think right and they oh, blow it up. It's also just cool to see like uh, where the protagonists are like technologically less advanced than the enemies. Like you just have all these scenes of just planes fucking these guys up real bad. And like, I feel like that doesn't happen so much in American action movies. Yeah, because America, because the guy. with the exception of the American veterans that like went to fight in Ukraine, have never fucking fought a war since World War II against the enemy with like superior tech and yeah. superior weapons. It, it makes it terrifying here. Like every now and then you just hear the like rattle of a plane and then it, half the characters die. And then like it happens again and again and again. Like where, where would the, like, there's just, fuck. There was a, I think there was another Daily Beast article that just came out about this exact thing that we were talking about. American veterans in, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in Ukraine being like, like this is like actually terrifying. This is so much. <laughs> yeah, here, here, here. This is it. They were like, it's so much worse than like Iraq and Afghanistan. And it's like, yeah, no shit, kids. dude. Because you don't have like a fucking 18 year old taking pot shots with like a fucking old Russian sniper rifle at you from a distance and then you immediately call in air support as you fucking sit behind a building and then have that entire tree line fucking wiped out. Oh, such a such a nice pampered life. Yeah. Like this is like play fighting uh in comparison to what they're doing now where they're like actually fighting like a, a state with a standing army. You know what I mean? China's depiction of U.S. forces in 2021 battle for Lake Shangjin. What? That is, that's the same movie. Yeah, and this is the first version, I think. There's three of them. I think they made three movies. What? But uh, Bro, they don't have enough wars to fucking oh, yeah. <laughs> go off. What are, they, what are they supposed to do <laughs> war movies on? You know what I mean? At one time. Yeah. <laughs> There's two, the original and a sequel. Oh, wait, why is it titled The Battle for Lake Shangjin 3 then? They don't have shit. They, they, they have like very little wars to go off of. America could like do positive, negative, comedic off of like the incredible amount of. Uh, it's the, a big library, yeah. Yeah, there's so many. There's so many to fucking choose from. Uh, I mean, they even have like they even have like fucking fake wars that aren't even real wars. You know what I mean? Like, like they could do. Jarhead is a great example. It's like Operation Desert Storm. You know what I mean? Like, and it's the war that never really turned into a war. There's a movie about wars that we were supposed to fight that didn't really come to fruition. You know what I mean? It'll be a sick movie to watch. I've always wanted to watch it. There's one with, um, who's the bad guy? Bad guy in Rocky, the, the, the Russian guy. You, Ivan Drago. Ivan oh, Drago Black Hawk like, Down. Another one. Somalia. I watched that one recently. Oh, that was dude, it was so good. Movie. I love it. Was when I was, what, dude, when I was growing up, I, when I first watched that, I was like, dude, it's so cool. Like the American military and all the gear that they have, like Delta Force. I was like, fuck. I just love, I just found it really weird to see like, like Somali berserkers, like, <laughs> like hordes of, of, of just, I don't even know. Like I, well, I was like, 12 when i watched oh, it. Yeah. I, I wonder how i would feel if i watched it now you I watched know what it i two mean months ago for the first time it's the craziest movie i've ever seen really it's, it's just so dumb like do, you don't really even really understand what their goals are like they kind of they kind of just go in there and then just like mow down hordes of somalians and then like drive back i guess yeah tears of the sun about the cia in africa Tears of the Sun, that's the one with the Bruce Willis with the fucking weird earpiece, right? Is that the one? I remember watching that too. Dude, I used to love watching American military movies. It was my, fa it was my shit. Um, big fan. All the Band of Brothers. I've actually never watched uh, Band of Brothers. That's like World War II, right? Yeah. That's, a, that's the only that's like just The one war. where they're good guys. There is no other just war since then. Like, what, is there one? Oh, that in America. Think? From America? Or? Yeah, from America. Right. And even uh, then, you got dudes like Howard Zinn who were like, you know, even in this just war, we did some fucked shit in, on the civilian population of Germany. Um, but, you know, is what it is. Um, 
There is the Gulf War best war. <laughs> yeah, no. No, not at all. Have you have you heard of the the fucking highway of death? <laughs> that was pretty bad. That's a, just a regular war crime that we did uh which was insane on retreating forces and civilians. We just bombed the fuck out of them like a 50-mile convoy. They still didn't learn their lesson. Had to go back again. Yeah. Best anti-war film is Come and See, amazing film. Same little clips of it. I thought too, too All scary. Quiet on the I think All Quiet on the Western Front was great too. Um that was that was good, but that's like we're going back in time at that point, you know what I mean? Um the war on terror was justified for 9/11. <laughs> I jest. Yeah, I was about to say you must be. I jest. Uh I did not watch Guy Ritchie's The Covenant, but I heard it was actually kind of anti-war, but it it was being promoted as though it was like super pro-war, so Um, Australians do commit worse crimes, but we do it for you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We're just trying to impress. That's true. We're you should be thanking every veteran you see yeah. on the streets. <laughs> um, and it's also hard because no one says thank you for your service in Australia. So, like, these guys are just angry. You no know? one. No. First of all, our veterans are very angry too. Regardless, <laughs> imagine of, if they didn't get that. Regardless of whether or not people say, um. Wait, what is this? Can you ask Alexa why he was singing an Indian Hindi song yesterday if he's China's number he's one singer? Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. Why the hell does he have a better camera cross than we do? Yeah. This is Bollywood. Bollywood sick. No, I, it's a good song. Bollywood. RRR. Well, that's Tollywood technically, right? Have what's you seen that? RRR? No, no. <gasps> Tolly? Oh, what's Oh, dude. Okay, we're watching that tonight. Is that Tamil Hollywood? Dude, this is, this is a banger, dude. RRR is a movie about brotherhood and friendship. And also, this is the one where the guy drifts the horse. Yes, it's, <laughs> is that actually it, that one. I, I, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's got incredible music. It has uh, it's two legendary revolutionaries in their journey uh, away from home, uh, killing uh, white colonizing pig dogs. Sick. Yeah, that's awesome. Can RRR is on? about how revenge is cool and effective. <laughs> There was that other one, the Pirates of the Caribbean knockoff, th Thugs of Hindustan or something. Um, it's like Pirates of the Caribbean, but like Indian pirates versus English colonial authority. Love that. See, I love it because it's like a unique perspective that you never see it. When you described it as an actual live action anime, I watched it immediately and couldn't agree more. Uh, yeah, it, it really is. <coughs> um, there's a bunch of Hindu nationalism in RR. Great. Okay. Um, RR also does dog whistle for Hindutva, Hindu nationalism. So do we. <laughs> that's, yeah, we're, that's... we're fans of that. Um, Bugs of Hindustan is a trash movie. Don't uh, watch it. Okay, I only saw the trailer. Looked awesome. <laughs> Chinese college is $800 a year. Ring followers say they want to see what Chinese universities look like. Now I come to the university I once attended to see the current university life in China. Let's go. The tall Wait, building this is, in front of us. They're not eating rats. I don't understand. Building of our school. No, this video. Yeah, this is fake. This is CCP propaganda, I think. Wait, why does it say participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt? Going, going to, to school university in China. Yeah, yeah. yeah, going to university in China, you will get hurt. Don't do it. <laughs> I will introduce our Chinese university classrooms, students' dormitories and canteens, libraries, sports fields, and students' nightlife. CCB this propaganda. CCB propaganda. Structuring like an essay. He's like teaching building, which is um, priming us for all the things he's going to show us. That's fucked up, dude. That's like, he's just Chinese. You're being racist. <laughs> <laughs> and most of my classes in college were taken here. Tuition here is about $800 he's a, good student. a year. 800 a year. Let's sneak Actually, in and reminisce about the university classroom. I often skipped class when I was in college. Hell yeah. I didn't learn a lot of knowledge. <laughs> I made my best friend in life. Xie, our school is called Huaqiao University, which is a very ordinary university, and even many Chinese have never heard of it. This is the west gate of our school, and the student street is outside. It will be very lively in the evening. I think it's wild that this is just like, you know, a, a, a pretty sizable fucking university by American <laughs> standards. And he's like, even Chinese people have not heard of this. Yeah. <laughs> we have so many of these here, dude. It's crazy. 
velocity is about the size of 185 soccer fields, so you'd better have a vehicle. Let's go to the library. <clears throat> These blue glass. They're they're riding bikes like Mao would. It's a Maoist bike. Classic. Oh man. Yeah. Do you know what I'm referencing? Him riding a bike? Um, well, no. him riding a bike, they said that about Corbin. In oh, England. he's like Maoist bike riding. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's literally... I I'm fucking hate the I'm British media so much. I'm reading Mao's biography now, and like, before he was, you know, radicalized, he was like a fitness guy. Is his, I did uh, not, so I much of his political ideology revolved around like Chinese people being strong so they can... I don't know, fight against colonialism. Wait, let, wait, wait, hold up. Let's take a look at this then. I mean, does that tie into like uh, uh, modern medicine or like uh, not having enough, uh, not having a lot of medicine opportunities uh, at the also time? You just have to work out. Instead so of you have to do like physical fitness? No, but they did, they did really like, he had like a small group of people in university and they would like all do these like excruciating hikes and I don't know. Let's see, how, was he shredded? Yeah, look at him. I mean, this is just a terrible. I mean, that, hair that, that's choice. after like. It's a terrible hair choice. I'm just saying. Like, this is him like with no food. <laughs> this is a, a, like long march time. <laughs> him with no food. That's true. They, Whoa! They they, they really gassed him up with this one. What the fuck? Yo, come on! Is they that, is, they they yassified him. Is that more yassified than Mount Rushmore? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the fuck those dudes look like. Yeah, he, he looks amazing there. Okay, let's see. Like, he was, there... he was, I think he was a tall guy as well. Oh, they what? say 5'6". Oh, no. Okay. That's, that's just Western propaganda. Well, they... Five foot eleven. Guys, this is saying five foot eleven. Celebheights.com saying five foot eleven. Well, people commented on him being tall and thin. <laughs> <In his>, uh, <laughs> They're saying he, Celeb Heights would never lead us astray. Yeah, yeah, and five foot eleven is, you know, probably the tallest revolutionary figure, I would say. Castro, I think, is six three. Oh, like, oh yeah, so. true, true, true. And Osama bin Laden. I was, four, most, I was okay, I mean, one. He's six seven. Oh, is he? Yeah, Osama <laughs> bin Laden was six seven. All that height just went to waste. <laughs> just spent all of his time in fucking caves and shit. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. I didn't realize. <laughs> but that um, no, I was just referencing Stalin. Stalin was famous manlet. Oh, really? Yeah. It checks out. How that do you know their specific now. heights? I don't know. You just like kind of pick it up here and there. I mean, the first thing I, I look for before I commit to any political ideology. Yeah. Stalin was was famously a manlet, uh, which I think. <laughs> Uh, that 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 it comes out, I think, in his in his uh, political expressions as well. His like <laughs> manlet style behavior. Yeah, although he probably was like one of the tallest guys from the Caucasus, like the tallest really? Georgian, the tallest. Really? Are, are they that tall? I mean, are well, they I mean, that short? Kim Kardashian's like a tiny person. Um, statues of Stalin depict him at a height and build approximating the very tall Tsar Alexander the Third, but photographic. Why is this? <laughs> yeah, that's a weird. That's thing to such put in a weird Wikipedia way. Article. They other displays of devotion, and then they fucking talk about like the czar in a positive light, <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to <laughs> um, the the coolest thing he did, other than killing Nazis, was of course uh, robbing trains. Yeah. So back then he was a short king, and then he turned into a manlet later on. Um. Roman soldiers were actually all manlets. Yeah, he would make photos and make himself look bigger. I think he would Photoshop himself closer to Lenin. Yeah. In photos, yeah. which is pretty funny. Or uh, take out his blemishes. <laughs> that's another thing. He was real manly behavior. He had, a, he had a gimpy arm as well. Oh, I really? For it. Yeah. It was, How the fuck did he rob trains with a gimpy arm? I think. Is that an appropriate term? I feel like I don't you guys know. say I don't shit. Know. I don't know what the word is. This is, this is it. We're, we're, we're like 40 years behind in Australia. Yeah. Um,. Yeah, he had like a an arm that didn't quite quite work. I think he had like I don't know if it was like a he got sick when he was a kid. Yeah, but, yeah. it happens. Not really, not exactly. I don't fucking know. Uh, bro, Lenin was also five five. Short kings everywhere. Yeah, Lenin was a short king. Stalin kind of problematic yeah. <laughs> and kind of a 
But Lennon didn't ling- live long enough to become a manlet, you know? <laughs> yeah, true. Gympie is probably is. the seventh largest city in Australia or something. Wait, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, Dude, how, how do you spell it? Is it just like... M. Hud would 100%... G-I-M-P-I-E. He, I don't think he would be joking when he says that. He's the geoguesser wizard. You made that up. No, Gympie's a place. <laughs> I made that up? You did? Gympie's definitely a place. G-Y-M-P-I-E, I think. World Leader Heights. Okay, but these are contemporary. We don't care. Oh, 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 who's also, who's? contemporary and Western world leaders are always going to be... Oh, Winston Churchill was a fucking manlet too. 5'6". That makes sense. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. And so was Margaret I Thatcher. That, I love that Putin picked like the one guy that was shorter than him to, <laughs> to replace him. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, what? It is. Dinajad was 5'2". Yeah, Gimpu. It's a city and locality in the Gimpu region in Queensland, Australia. In the wide Bay Burnett district, Gympie is about 170 kilometers. Kilometers? Oh, no, I'm fucking. You guys up. like kilometers? Kilometers? There you go. Yeah. Yeah, we've got we've got a Gympie. Uh, it's really a place in Australia called Porpoise Spit. I think so. I don't think I've ever been. Char the Gaul was fucking six five. What? That's no. what I'm saying, dude. Western diets like. You know, and the abundance of food, I guess, in, in at least like the last hundred years is just. What the fuck is a manlet, you privileged fuck? There is a it's manlet. A state of mind. There is a manlet to short king uh, spectrum. If you don't know this, I don't know how to explain it to you. We love our short kings, Lenin, and we we make fun of our manlets, uh, Stalin. It's just uh, that's the dynamic. What? Said Mussolini was four foot six. Really? Well, he said Benito. Maybe that's another guy. <laughs> another famous Benito. Yeah. <laughs> Barack Obama was six foot one. Yeah. I wonder everyone likes America. Him so much. I think America's literally had like one president that's under six foot. Really? Yeah. Why is the country so shit? I thought <laughs> because clearly tall. I don't know. Clearly. Tall presidents do not translate to, like, good governance. I don't know. I, I assumed if I was to design a perfect society, it would be along those lines. Ensure only tall. You're like Pol Pot yeah, for yeah. short people instead of glasses. <laughs> yeah. Um, Heights of presidents and presidential candidates. Whoa. Okay, no, there's more. There's, there's more than I thought. In, in modern times... Like, look at this. Holy fuck. The, uh, dude, dude, after like, how many, how many fucking, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then after the 14th, it's all five foot ten and up. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's pretty fucking insane. Like three quarters are over six foot. Yeah. Is In the TV happening? era, never shorter than 5'10". That makes sense. Wait, so Trump's a tall guy? Yeah, oh. Trump's like 6'3". No. And I think he also wears no. like... Yeah, Trump is pretty tall. I think he also wears like elevator shoes on top of that too. That's why he like he's leans such forward. such a weird body yeah, shape. Yeah, he's 6'3". What? Yeah. Why is he shaped Trump like is one tall. of the he's... tallest presidents. What? Abraham Lincoln being coming. the tallest. And the nicest. Yeah, there you go. That's that's. I mean, that correlates perfectly. Donald Trump, one of my favorites. Uh, very similar to Abe Lincoln in policy. He just, he just, that tall. Um, it's because he's very bulky. Yeah, that's why. And he's like, I don't know. This page is lying. FDR was only like four feet. Okay, chill, dude. He was in a fucking wheelchair, dog. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. FDR has okay. You, you, I, I'll, I'll I'll allow an asterisk next to his name. Okay. I'm going to the bathroom. He was six two. Damn, six two at that time with like childhood. Uh, what was it? Polio. That's wild. Of course, Big Dick Johnson is number two. Day, I'm supposed to call you God for. F- Chill waitress while I was cuffed. Man, 
meds. Get your meds chatter. Uh. Anyway, bro, bro, Google how short Rishi Sunak is. Okay, we're done looking at fucking heights of people. Okay, let's finish this Chinese. Actually, we'll do it when Boy Boy's back. Um, cause I want to, I want to see this stuff. I want to talk about this stuff in a little bit. Um, but before I do that, I want to get back to possibly watching the Karl Marx anime. But let's do Biden's uh, Supreme Court. 